people, this looks like a regular rock. But it's not. This is a volcanic rock. You send the lava flow to the volcano. And after about two days, when it hard up, it met the crystal looking something. Yeah. So, so where, where you pick this up? Where you pick this up? At the top of the Bless up, bless up, bless up. Wagwan over Yasso, Panarum TV review. Hope everyone doing good as you're watching this right now. So good morning on a beautiful day. Yes, people, I know you are looking forward to the weekend. You know, just take life easy. Keep the day productive and thing. Today we're going to speak about Vibes Cartel. You know, yeah, man, and some update where his health is concerned. We see where a Cuban doctor getting involved as you know we get some updates yeah people so we're gonna touch on that also we see a lot of jamaicans speaking about the oil mining you know happening in jamaica but them realize the government silent about it how them not talk about it how the country gonna benefit from this right here so you know it's like them as the prime minister of the country andrew holness now come out and say anything really about it so people attack but anyway first thing me see queenie put out something in regards to vibes cartel about what she want to do to vibes cartel the bee wash and them sort of thing there you know pure nastiness devilish type of things is like that very disgusting for a 50 year, year old woman a grandmother come out and speak over social media i wonder how our grandchildren feel how our children them feel when them see queenie come out say wow what she want to do to vibes cartel back part yo people that sick stomach <laughs> me don't know how people react to this but in my farm away them thing there no sir them, that not even for reach social media if you do that behind closed door keep it behind closed door me and futa hype talk about her already regarding something else i don't remember but futa hype i say queenie need for lego social media queenie is a disgrace me not like your queenie futa hype don't like you queenie me I tell you you know the way you act and carry yourself me not like you me not like you I don't know how you're picking them like you. I couldn't like you. Queen, if you go, man. I don't like Queen picking them neither. You know, I don't like Queen picking them. How do you take away all our phone? They sell 33 10 down, down at the flea market of England. Buy her 33 10. Where she can't go up on no internet. Voila. Something really goes up. People, if, if I chew on the type, it goes up. Something really goes on, say, Queenie, play with Dewey Bottom. <sighs> okay, so the next thing we are talking about over here, so, well, it's like a lot of people see it still, based on Vibes Cartel appearance, he is getting better and better day by day. Now, since Vibes Cartel put it out that he is seeking medical attention over there in St. Vincent, a lot of people are criticizing, saying that, you know, it never make no sense him leave Jamaica, them hospital no better and all of that. So it's like Vibes Cartel have no problems over there, you know, as he recently went to the hospital. As you can see right here, a recent post we see the Prime Minister of St. Vincent basically put this out saying we have an excellent team of medical professionals at MCMH always ready to deliver world-class services they have received high commendation from vibes cartel and his team after his visit so vibes cartel right here along with medical professionals you know looking after his grave disease also we see vibes cartel doing a lot of workout and in addition to that vibes cartel is also seen a cuban endocrinologist you know over there in St. Vincent and another specialist so a lot of people were advising Vibes Cartel actually to go to Cuba to seek medical attention but you know a Cuban specialist is actually 
over there in St. Vincent and the Grenadines actually you know taking care of Vibes Cartel and all what he's going through so you know the linkage to Cuba is still there Yo, this is for Mr. Low and Mr. Wang and Mr. Jim Fresh drop Because you go like a big high man for a big jackass Yeah, I tell you so for brace for 7.2 man, me to the earth here One piece, 7 million barrel of oil on a fine on my face So I'm not going to tell you where to go We want to control the Jamaican people and how the oil is going to go And how it's going to benefit the Jamaican people And that's what I want to control you about, you see me? We don't want to come tell us if we brace from the earthquake Because we know say, I'm an oil mine, we're not going with round there It will cause the earthquake them. We have, we have, we have sex We are not food, a common sense we use We don't food on the colonial delegation can hold on our, our, our thing, you see me? The wiser than that So you see oil on around there mine How much barrel you don't find already, how much million barrel you don't find already And I stand to go sell them from them from back door We want to come tell the Jamaican people how it's going to go and how it's going to benefit the country The people who don't say no transport authority to antagonize the taxi man We want to know if you don't come fix the road How much mil million barrel of oil you don't find We want to know if the Jamaican road is not going to fix out of the oil you don't find Earthquake you don't tell yourself to brace for we don't better brace full of bomb buckle and self or something because all of them blood clot earthquake that we are living in a shaky place and a bag of oil on around there drill out we know that we don't cause the earthquake them because we don't drill out the oil we know we know that that's going government we need enough to come tell you how the oil is going to benefit Jamaican people because we don't have to sell it out for no one to do it yes sir so people drop your opinion on that right there you know we see a recent article right here from the Jamaica Observer after almost 8 the kids searching for oil on and offshore Jamaica. The people behind the latest phase of the exploration, while clearly trying to contain themselves, are behaving suspiciously as if they know something the rest of us are waiting to hear. Earlier this year, British owned United Oil and Gas and the Jamaican owned Petroleum Corporation of Jamaica took the bold step of organizing an investor evening at Jamaica's High Commission in London. It was the biggest indication yet that the principals are ready to sign partnerships for commercialization and production of the estimate 7 billion barrels of oil they have apparently confirmed in Jamaican territory. The news has been slow to trickle back to Jamaica and has certainly not hit the front pages but those who have been doggedly following the search which began officially in the 1950s would have noticed that the excitement has reached levels not seen before. People, this look like a regular rock. But it's not, this is a volcanic rock. You send the lava flow to the volcano and after about two days when it hard up it made the crystal looking something so, so where do you pick this up? Where you pick this up? At the top of the volcano okay. How long you take it to get up there? Well, two hours for go up and three and a half hours for come down because I'm really tired <laughs> You see me? Why feel come down? <laughs> yeah <laughs> So you see it, see them? Oh, yeah, man. Again, all right. You're not going to see the volcano in Europe again. And we're there with Marlon Samuel the Great. Iconic. Iconic. Super train above hell. <laughs> and he might kill me off people. <laughs> <laughs> see him coke and spirit here. Yeah. <laughs> it's not volcano. But yeah, man. As I usually say before I end the video, what do you under your nose? I'm out.